There are hundreds of tour companies offering day trips to the ancient city of Pompeii and Mount Vesuvius. I'm gonna give you a practical guide how you can visit both of these places by yourself in one day. Mount Vesuvius is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Three million people live close enough to be affected by an eruption, so it could have disastrous consequences. That was made abundantly clear in the year 79 AD, when Vesuvius erupted and completely destroyed the Roman cities of Pompeii, Herculaneum, Oplontis and Stabiae. More than a thousand people died in the eruption, and the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in particular were completely covered with ash and molten rock. During the eruption, there was a cloud of rocks, ash and volcanic gases that rose up 33 kilometers from Vesuvius. And that's today's destination. We're gonna explore the destruction this fiery giant caused, and we're also gonna climb Mount Vesuvius. Despite this scorching heat. First of all, I'm gonna visit Pompeii. Now, where is Pompeii? It's located in the southwest of Italy, 30 minutes from Naples or one and a half hours from Rome. You can find many package tours that will take you to Pompeii or Pompeii and Herculaneum or Pompeii and Vesuvius but I prefer to go there by myself instead. First of all, it's really not that complicated. There are frequent trains from both Naples and Rome. Secondly, you can set your own pace and you don't have to wait around for a group of tourists. I always try to explore by myself if I can instead of joining a group of people. Once you get to the Pompeii train station, there's a 20 minute walk to the west to get to the Porta Marina entrance. You could also go to the Piazza Amphiteatro entrance. That would take you to the most scenic parts immediately, but I have a reason for not starting there. We will exit there, though. Aim to get to Pompeii before 9 in the morning, so you have time for Mount Vesuvius in the afternoon as well. And you beat all the crowds as well that way. Or at least the crowds won't be as bad as later on in the day. I took the 757 train from Naples and I got to Pompeii at 8.35. Pretty perfect time, I would say. You can buy a ticket at the entrance, but I would recommend to pre-book just so you don't get any nasty surprises when you get there. Now let me show you what you can find in the ancient ruins of Pompeii. This is one of the streets that leads from the south to the north, from the Stabia Gate in the south to Mount Vesuvius in the north. And along this street you could find a lot of stores and baths, and in general it was one of the main roads in the city. Some of the houses here are really well preserved. It's amazing to see mosaics on the floor and warm murals still almost intact. You may have heard about the graffiti that's preserved at Pompeii. I find it absolutely hilarious and it really shows that people just behave like people throughout time. Although the graffiti you find here is quite a bit more sexual than most tagging you find in cities today. For example, at the bar and brothel of Inulus and Papilio, you can find the following masterpiece. Weep, you girls. My penis has given you up. Now it penetrates men's behinds. Goodbye, wondrous femininity. And at the house of Citaris, you can see the following. Amplicatus, I know that Icarus is buggering you. Salvius wrote this. Or at the bar of Aphictus, I screwed the barmaid. Short and simple, more like something you can read on walls today. 
But there was some romantic graffiti as well, such as this one. Secundus says hello to his prima, wherever she is. I asked my mistress that you love me. Quite lovely, really. But it wasn't all just sexual or romantic graffiti. You also had an aspiring food critic who wrote, The finances officer of the Emperor Nero says that this food is poison. It's great that there's a bit of humor to be found here. It's quite a gruesome place otherwise if you think about it. This is one of the main streets leading from the west to the east towards the amphitheater. Whoa. Bloody hell. <laughs> I believe that this is actually the oldest intact amphitheater in the world. I'm not going to take poison on that, but I believe so. It's way older than the Colosseum, at least. If you're really interested in history, you could spend days or at least a whole day in Pompeii. But if you want to have time for Mount Vesuvius as well, three or four hours will have to suffice. Exit via the Piazza Amphitheatro entrance and make sure you stock up on water and grab something to eat. The reason I exited at the Amphitheatro is that the bus to Vesuvius departs from here. The bus company is called EAV, so search online for EAV Vesuvio to find the current schedule. I'm taking the bus at 13.08 and that should take me to Vesuvius at 13.55. You could also take a taxi or find a shuttle, but both of those options are more expensive and it's not really a long ride, so why not take the bus? It's apparently 13 sharp and not 13.09. Oh well, the schedule online lied. Time for a quick note about the prices. It's 16 euros to enter Pompeii. It's 12 euros or 11 euros 67 cents to enter Vesuvio. And the bus ticket to Vesuvio is 3 euros 10 cents. And here we are. The bus will drop you off a fair bit up the mighty Mount Vesuvius, but you'll have to walk the rest of the way. Make sure you pre book a ticket before you get here. Also, make sure you're prepared for the walk. Bring sunscreen, sturdy shoes and plenty of water or beer. They were all out of water at that small cafe, I promise. And I didn't feel like any more Coke Zero, so beer it is. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? The temperatures here can get up to 40 degrees, so it's absolutely scorching. But today it's only 34 degrees, so uh, cheers to that. I hope this is going to be worth the walk. Vesuvius has erupted many times in 79 AD, dozens and dozens of times throughout the centuries. An eruption in 1906 killed more than 100 people and the volcano was active with running lava between 1913 and 1944. In 1944 several nearby villages were destroyed and between 78 and 88 US aircrafts as well because they had an air force base close to the volcano. Vesuvius has been relatively silent for a while, but it's just a matter of time before it wakes up again. At the very top of the volcano, you're rewarded with a magnificent view of the coast and of the caldera and of volcanic rock piled into weird shapes. This makes it worth all the blood, sweat and tears in getting up here. Okay, maybe not so much blood and tears, but sweat. Definitely a lot of sweat. When you get up here, relax, enjoy the view, take some selfies. But make sure you don't miss the last bus back to Pompeii. You don't want to walk all the way down there. 
And if you want to reward yourself with something more than just a view, there's even a bar at the end of the road up here. Italy never change. I hope you found this video about Pompeii and Mount Vesuvius a little bit interesting and maybe even a little bit useful. Like and subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day. Now let's grab a glass of Prosecco and gaze out over the horizon. I think we've earned that today.